Recently, there's been some very clever people doing things with Lightroom and Photoshop. My buddy Matt Kloskowski in his recent Killer Tips podcast showed how to create an interesting border effect and add it to Lightroom. If you haven't seen that podcast, go check it out. He goes into lots of really good detail. I'm just going to do a slight variation on this theme. Now, Matt, in his podcast, mentioned there are several people out there that have been doing variations on this theme. Again, this is just my take on the same thing. So basically, all I have at this point is I have a photo. I'm in the print module and I have, I'm going to choose maximum size just to make sure I've got this as big as I can and then I'm going to go to the identity plate. Now by default it's just assuming I want the basic uh, main identity plate which is at in this point it's just text. I'm going to go to the edit menu. I have to do this the first time but I'll show you how you can build it right in. I'm going to locate the file. Here's one that I created and I'll show you in a minute how we did this in Photoshop. Choose it and click OK and it's going to come in and two things are wrong with it. It's too small and it's also the wrong rotation because that's just the way I happen to make it. So I'm going to rotate it and then scale it up and if necessary push it around and basically make it fit by tweaking the size a little bit. So all I basically did here, if I switch to Photoshop to show you, is I created a document on a uh, transparent layer where I did some different things. I just did some filters and effects. And if you want more, you can get my Finishing Touches book. Sorry for that blatant advertisement or advertisement, if you like. Uh, but basically, you just create something, and here's what I've done. You can actually bring a PSD file into Lightroom, but what I prefer to do in this case is I'm just going to save this document as a PSD with multiple layers and then save as a PNG with transparency. That way I can tweak my different settings but I can always bring it in and go back and forth. Now you could just use a PSD. I just find this one works very nicely. Now where you can have fun with this is if you start doing variations on the same theme. As long as you think about the way it works in Lightroom this transparent area is where your photo is going to appear and everything else will cover it up. So like in this case I made a big white border, uh, cut a hole in the middle so I can see through, and then added a couple of strokes and some text. And by, again, saving this as a multi-layered PSD, I can always go back and change it, but then I save this as a PNG. So if we go back to Lightroom now, go to my next photo, you notice that it, by default, assumes I want the same identity plate and that it's also the same orientation, but this photo actually belongs this way. Now the cool part about identity plates is smart enough that if you change the page setup it assumes you also want to change the orientation. But we're going to go get our other one. I'm going to go to the edit menu again, locate the file. Here's the one that we created. Click OK. Now in this particular case, sometimes like in this case when I built this border, I didn't build it in the right full orientation for the size of my page. And if that happens, then what you may need to simply do is go in and just change your photo borders just ever so slightly to basically make it so you can no longer see that little bit of the photo. Then you can just position this accordingly. Now once you have some of these identity plate slash borders that you like, you can go here to back to the identity plate pop-up to edit and save as. So this is what I've done here. As you can see, I actually have three different options in here that I've already saved. And the name's getting cut off, but that's not important. You can just basically see there are several of them. So this way, what you can do is create several different options that are just literally built right in, and then you just have to choose them from a list. So this way, you could have tall and wide, bigger borders, smaller borders, all different variations. So you can easily add this and then print it. So thanks to all those people out there that are coming up with creative uses for Photoshop and Lightroom together.